Hey guys, Justin from Game Time Edits here, giving all you creative heads a little bit of a technical lift when it comes to your content creation. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys a little trick that I like to use when it comes to building highlights reels or compilations of your best plays. This small tip is guaranteed to bump up that audio quality of what you guys are trying to accomplish. So hey, let's jump in. So what I wanna show you guys is the art of rubber banding your audio. Close your eyes and listen to these three clips as I play. So my compiler is made up of three separate clips, making two audio cut points. Now these cut points sound a little bit abrupt, so what I'm going to do is rubber band the audio. First, I'm going to grab the audio for the center clip and bring it down onto a new audio track line. I'm then going to grab what's called the audio handles on each of these clips and bring them out just a little bit so they overlap one another. I'm then going to come across to my tools over here and grab the pen tool or P on the keyboard. This tool will let us place key points on these audio handles, allowing us to take control of the volume of the clip. I'm just going to mark two key points on my audio tabs here, and then reduce the volume at the start and the end of these tabs. I can then move these key points into position by holding down the shift key. I'll also do the same on the other end with the second and third clips. One clip's volume is turned down while the other one is turned up. Now that I've set this up, close your eyes and have a listen. I now have seamless audio between each of my clips. Now I'm going to add a couple of transitions in between my three clips in order to give you that finish feel. Now it looks great. And it sounds great. For those playing at home on Sony Vegas, all you need to do is hit the V key to make your audio rubber band line appear. Then double click on where you want to place your key points, balancing the audio up and down at your leisure. For questions or additional information, drop us a line in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe to Game Time Edits.